Hey everyone, and welcome to my tutorial series for Mario Kart Double Dash. This series is for the people that want to get a hero rank in time trials, or a good time in Alcaptur. If you don't know what hero rank is, it's basically a standard slash ranking for your time trial times. Anyone from any skill level should be able to follow this. Getting faster in this game is not just about practice. Knowing what you should and shouldn't do, or what you can change, is really important. Sure, after watching these videos, it'll take some practice to get it down, but I'm sure you'll be able to get a sub-30 in-game time in El Capture after following this series. In this series, I will explain every track, hopefully in detail. I will also go over mushroom spots, but before that, here's some general information that you need to know. I'm telling this now so that I don't have to explain this in every video. Please click the annotations or read the description for timestamps. Part 1. Beginner Info If you're in this section, then I suppose you are quite new to the game or don't understand the basics yet. That's fine however, because I will explain the basics of the very basics. Character Selection The Barrel Train is the fastest card. Choose lightweight characters, doesn't matter which ones you choose, as long as they are lightweight. You can also use a Toad card, especially for bumpy tracks like DK Mountain, but I would just choose the Barrel Train. Drifting. Let's say you're doing the U-turn on Luigi's circuit, going left. You hold left, then press R. Your car will start a drift. Holding left will steer sharply, with neutral your car veers to the left, and holding right will make your car go in a straight line, so really wide. It's useful to learn the curves of the three uh, trajectories, so then you have a feel for it. Mini turbos. I'll refer to mini turbos as MTs. Makes my life a little bit easier. MTs will help you speed up your car with a slight boost. Again, let's say you're doing the same U-turn on Luigi's circuit. Start a drift, press right and let the control stick return to the center. Now you'll see orange sparks. Repeat this and you'll get blue sparks. Now when you release R, you'll get a boost. MTs are really useful. Try using them in the corner. Another good use for them is to get up to speed after getting hit or losing your speed by driving through the grass or sand. The acceleration on the barrel train is quite slow, so try to empty as soon as possible. You have to accelerate to a certain amount of speed before you can empty though. Be sure you can consistently empty before continuing on. Emptying on straights. You want to go fast? Now this is really important. Basically, you alternate mini turbos with a little bit of correction steering in between. Empty make your car go straight empty again in the other direction mushroom bridges bridge at the last part of the lap is a great way to train this it will also help you get a feel for how wide you can go and how you can steer while emptying on straights please master this part two important techniques these things are really important so that's why they're getting their own category Everyone should know about the following things. Cancelling out shrooms. Don't do this. How this happens is you release an MT while the shroom is still active. This will kill the shroom. Release the MT after the shroom's effect. Spacing. This is not Mario Kart DS where you spam MTs until your fingers break. When you release an MT, you'll get a small boost. However, when you initiate a new drift, that speed is immediately lost. A good time to start a new MT is when your speed starts to drop in again, or when the flame on the barrel train starts dying out. Don't focus too much on those visual cues though. It should come natural, so you should be really feeling it. Spacing is really important. Please do not spam mini turbos. If you want some science behind this, I'll link Baseball Kid's spacing video in the description. Sideways boost. You're exiting a corner, but you're a little wide. Then you release your MT and fly out of the corner. What just happened? Well, you might have done an accidental sideways boost. This technique is really useful and will help a lot with getting fast at times and realizing why you flew out of that corner. Normally, when you release an MT, you go in the direction of your car's alignment. However, 
If you're holding the direction of the corner you're going in, you'll go to the side. Again, let's use the same example of that U-turn and Luigi circuit. You start a drift, except this time, when releasing the mini turbo, you hold left. You won't go into the descent like you normally would, but instead you go to the side, allowing you to go as close to the sand as possible. A good trick to get sideways boost consistently is to start a drift, press right twice, then left, then releasing R while still holding left. This way you'll get the blue sparks and only have to tap three times. In Baby Park, most of the time you will still be holding right when you release your mini table, making you go wide. Try releasing the stick before you release R, or holding left. This way you'll go in a straight line. Dropping faster. Hold R in combination with left or right to drop faster. This will save some time and track for jumps. A good example is Bowser's Castle. At the end of the track, there's a ramp. Hold R plus left or right around the middle of the jump, and you'll land way earlier than normally. If you start too early though, you'll fall, which is bad. Pressing up in mid-air. You aim the front of your car down. Few uses for this will be explained later in track tutorials. It'll help you land faster in some situations. Part 3. Advanced. So right now you're aware of the use of MTs, spacing and sideways boosts. Here are some quick advanced techniques you should know. Most of these will come back in the track tutorials. Mid-air MTs. In some cases you want to prepare an MT in the air, so that when you land you will be up to full speed. This is for example the case for the last jump at Bowser's Castle, or the drop after the sharp right spiral as shown here. Sometimes your MT will cancel, but with some practice you'll learn when it will work and when it won't. Try releasing it before you land. LTEC While holding R, mesh L as fast as you can. You'll turn sharper this way. Keep in mind, pressing L while holding R will cancel your MT. Orange sparks or blue sparks will become yellow again. Braking Hold B while holding R and don't release A. You'll slow down a bit, allowing you to correct your white lines or stay in the inside of the corner. However, LTAC is faster. You can also use break-in and LTAC at the same time. Try this in Wario's Colosseum's Long Spiral, for example. Part 4. ATAC If you've mastered everything above, with the exception of RTAC, then you're ready to learn ATAC. ATAC gives you more control over your driving lines, but it can also completely mess it up. Don't start using ATAC until you're at least expert. As you can see, you don't go all over the place. There are many more uses to ATAC, but since I'm not too familiar with ATAC, I won't go in depth about it. Part 5. Tracks. Just a disclaimer, in these track tutorials I will describe my lines. They're not guaranteed to be the best lines you can take, but they work for me and will get you close to Hero times.